and find yourself in downward facing dog. Curl your toes under, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Any movement, any shimmy of the hips like you did earlier on tabletop, take it and do it now. Shimmy, 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 alternate the way. Nice job. Pull yourself forward through a high plank. Think of lengthening the spine from the crown of the head to the heels. Pull the belly in. Press the ground away. Feel buoyant. And then lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. You're doing that two more times. Inhale, shift forward. Crown of the head away from the heels. Hollow out the belly. Round the upper back just a little. Exhale, downward facing dog. And we do that one last time. Nice job. This time, knees, chest, and chin to the ground. You're coming through a low cobra. Roll the shoulders back, pick up the chest. Make it about the back of the heart lifting. So imagine the tiniest little sail here. Let the palms feel free to lift off the ground. The upper back is doing the work. Release yourself back through an extended child's pose. Land the hips back on your heels. Big breath in and out. Forehead down. Pick up your palms. Open and close your wrists. Or your palms, that is. Release the palms. Pick yourself up. Move through your cow shape now. And your cat shape. Organize yourself here. If you like to curl the toes under when you do these shapes, by all means. If you like to alternate curling the toes and extending them, by all means. You're trying to connect the breath and the movement. You're trying to link the inhale to one of the shapes and you exhale to the other. Nice job. And then we'll pause, we'll neutralize the spine, curl the toes under, lift the kneecaps off the ground. You're in a floating table. Take the right knee out to the side. So you're gonna open up like a fire hydrant. The left knee is off the ground. Rotate around the hip joint a couple of times. Rotate it in the opposite direction. Pull the knee in. You're in a floating table, second side. Left knee lifts up to the, out to the side. You're making these rotations, a bit of a fire hydrant and make those rotations in the opposite direction. Nice job. Knee down, hips up, downward facing dog. Big breath in and out. Step your heels in a little bit so that the legs are long. Yes, you're still in down dog. You step maybe an inch or so to get the heels to really lengthen and breathe into these back, the backs of those legs. Yes, you just worked them out a lot. You can add a little shimmy, the tiniest of a shimmy to your very short down dog, intense down dog. Let's shift the weight over to the left hand, pick up the right palm, bring that right hand inside, uh, to, um, to the outside that is of any part of your left leg. You're grounding through both heels as you try to catch any part and look underneath the left arm. Big breath in and out. Nice. Second side, right hand down. Lift left arm up, take the hand any part along the length of your right leg, look underneath, heels down, try to stabilize yourself, exhale, hands down, nice job. Pick up the heels and tiptoe all the way to the top of your mat on the balls of the feet, release the feet down, heels down and fold generously over the crease of your thighs. You may be able to fold over straight legs, maybe. Hold on to your elbows and not as a micro bend to those knees, yes? And then sway, right and left. Little box for your head. Release the arms, soften the knees a lot, and this time round up to stand. You're becoming vertical in your mountain pose. Take those shoulders and roll them up and back, and release the arms. Turn the palms forward and circle the arms behind you, round and up, you're looking for the sail in your heart. Exhale, bring the hands down through the heart center. Do that two more times. Inhale, sweep the arms behind you around and up. And exhale, hands through the heart center. Let's do that one last time. Inhale, rise. Pick up the sail in your chest. And exhale, release. This time, all the way down. Soften the knees and fold. You're folding all the way forward. Maybe the legs are long. Bend your knees, step back, left leg. Big step back with the left leg. Bend your left knee and place it on the mat. Shift yourself forward. So you ground it on that right foot and extend the back toes long, top of the foot on the ground. Just as you did a moment ago, you're stepping into the right foot and you're gonna find a sail in your chest as you swivel the arms behind you, around and up. Palms touch behind you. 
bend your elbows and drop your prayer hands behind your head. Squeeze the elbows in and lift the sail in your chest. Big breath in and out. Release the hands, pick up the back knee, step forward. Lengthen halfway up. Maybe the hands are on the shins, maybe they're on the floor. Exhale, fold again. Pressing into the feet, inhale, rise, find the sail in your chest. Bring the hands down through the heart center, drop the chin down and breathe into the base of the skull. Do that again, release the arms down, around and up, circle them up. Bring the hands through the heart center, soften the knees and fold all the way forward. Lengthen halfway up, tabletop to spine, fingertops could be on your shins. And exhale, fold again. Bend your knees a lot, big step back with the right leg. Drop the back knee down. Extend the back toes. You're on the whole length of your shin. Press into the left foot. Swivel the arms behind you, around and up. You're looking for the sail in your chest. Press the palms together. Bend the elbows. Your prayer hands come behind the base of your skull as you lift up and back. Exhale, release. Pick up the back knee. Step forward. Lengthen halfway up. Maybe the legs are long. And exhale, bow forward. Maybe the legs are long. Inhale, spine the sail as you sweep the arms around and up. And exhale, hands through the heart center. Drop the chin and check in. Release the arms, let them down. Rotate the shoulders and relax. Nice job. Let's turn the palms out again and roll the thumbs. We're simply adding on. Same work, adding on. Open and fold, lead with the heart. Come forward halfway up. Notice that those legs are getting a little longer. Exhale, bow again. Soften the knees, giant step back, left leg. Drop the left knee down, extend the toes. Swivel the arms behind you, around and up. You're dropping your prayer hands behind your head. You're squeezing your elbows in as you look for the upper back bend. Exhale, we add on. Release the hands, shift back with your hips and lengthen your right leg long. All about the hamstrings today. Pick up those right toes off the ground and fold any amount. Lead with the heart, don't drop the head. Eyes are slightly forward, just a little forward as you bow. Notice what's happening with this right hip. Is it rolling out? Can we tuck it under just a bit or roll it in? Nice job. We bend the right knee, step on your right foot. Pick up your back knee, we add on a little. Take the fingertops forward of your shoulders, push off the ball of the back foot, support it, warrior three. Pick up the left leg, fingertops right underneath the shoulders. Lift that left leg, the height of your left hip. Look down first. Find your left toes, they're pointing down. The foot is flexed, then bring your eyes forward. Big breath in and out, step the left foot next to the right and generously fold over the crease of your hips. Yes, you're not folding at the waist, you're folding at the crease of the hips. Step into the feet, inhale, rise, circle the arms around and up. Exhale, arms down to the sides, mountain pose. Notice that right leg waking up, right? There's more sensation in that right leg than the left leg, notice it. Inhale, let's even that out. Open, bow and fold, lead with the heart. Come halfway up, notice that the legs are longer. Exhale, bow and fold, soften the knees, right leg back. Big step back, right knee down. Extend the back toe. Inhale, circle the arms around and up. This is Anjali Asana. With the palms gathered behind you. Drop the elbows. You're looking for those prayer hands to find the base of your skull. It's like the heels of the hands are lifting the base of the skull. You're squeezing your skull with your elbows. Exhale, release. Half split pose. The hips go back. Lengthen the left leg. Pick up your toes any amount. You're gonna fold as you exhale. And you're gonna notice, is your hip rolling out? Sometimes it rolls out to give you room, right? And we wanna roll it under. So you may not be able to come as far forward. That's fine. Pick up the toes and breathe. Inhaling and exhale, you go deeper. We bend the left knee, pick up the toes. Your patting's passing through that supported warrior three. Push off, lift. Look down, drop the head, drop the chin. Look at your right foot. You should see it, it's in line with the right hip. Then come forward with the eyes. Big breath in, step the right foot next to the left. Fold generously over the crease of your hips. Inhale, pressing into both feet, rise. Circle the arms around and up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Pause, 
right here. Drop the chin, check in, say kind words, please. I can't hear you, um, but I'm feeling the energy. It's moving. It's energizing my room. Interlace the fingers in front of your heart and flip the palms forward. Bend the elbows out and bring the palms towards the heart center and then flip them up to the sky. Bring the elbows to touch. Do that again. Flip the palms forward. Bend the elbows. Bring the tops of the hands towards your heart. Flip the palms towards your heart. Then all the way up to the ceiling. Bring the elbows to touch. And exhale, release. Next time the arms go forward, lift them up and back. Take the hips forward as you lift the upper back. Come back through center. Open the arms to a T. Flex your palms. Press the walls away. You can look to the left and you can look to the right. Your palms are flexed. Big stretch, just like you've been doing with your feet. You're leading with the heels of your hands. Release the finger tops, wiggle them, and you're stretching the tops of your wrists. Drop the arms behind you, interlace the fingers behind your lower back, lengthen the elbows and your mouth, pick up the back of the heart. You're looking for the sail in the chest. Bend the knees and fold, ribs to your thighs, fold generously over the bent knees, arms off the spine. Big breath in and a big breath out. Release the hands, pass through chair pose. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold, arms up and back. You're folding. Keep those knees bent. Again, chair pose, Utkatasana. And exhale, fold, arms up. We're still with the knees bent. Last time here, chair pose. And exhale, fold. Nice job. This time, pick up the hips, release the hands, shake them out. Big breath in and out. Bend your knees, step back, right leg. Step back, left leg. Oh, downward facing dog, where have you been? We love you so much. Downward facing dog, hips up, head down. Shift yourself way forward into high plank, lengthen the backs of those legs. Think about the backs of those legs, yeah? A lot now, right? Surely you're feeling some sensation in them now. Bend your knees, bend your elbows, chest and chin down. Slide through a low cobra, roll the shoulders back, pick up the chest. And that's okay. You're not feeling it yet. There's nothing wrong, right? Everyone feels this work differently. Shift back, extend the child's pose. But we're going to progress. And as we progress, we're going to be working with those hamstrings. And you may feel it a little later or tomorrow or not at all because you've got great hamstrings. I mean, long hamstrings. Not great. There's no good or bad in yoga. Pull yourself up, tabletop the spine. Again, marrying the movement in the breath, cow and cat shape. Big breath in and a big breath out. So just adding on. When you're ready, curl the toes under, lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Big breath in and a big breath out. So we're gonna look to create a little bit of heat. Lift the heels high, bend the knees. Step, step. If you're ready to float, hop, get there. Lengthen halfway up. Maybe the legs are longer. Exhale, bow and fold over straight legs. Over straight legs, inhale to rise. Circle the arms around and up. Pull the hands down through the heart center. Drop the chin down, connect. Say something kind. Big breath in and out. Sun salutation A, inhale, sweep the arms around and up. Open and fold, lead with the heart. Come halfway up. First round, we step, step back into a high plank. Bend the elbows, you decide, chaturanga or down to the ground. Baby cobra or up dog. If you're ready, you're on the tops of the feet. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths. Inhale, exhale. One, any movement that you need, take it. Breathe in, breathe out. Two, make those elbows nice and long. Breathe in, breathe out. Three, pull the belly in. Breathe in, breathe out four, look at your belly button. Breathe in and breathe out five. Lift the heels high, bend the knees, look forward. Step, step or hop, get to the top. Lengthen halfway up, over straight legs. Exhale, hinge and bow, over straight legs. Press into the feet and inhale, rise. Urva Hastasana, hands through the heart center and all the way down. Mountain pose, two more times, inhale. Find the sail in the lift of the heart. Exhale, lead with the heart as you bow. Come halfway up with the heart. 
Bend the knees, step, step your hop if you're ready. You want chaturanga, you want to hop back, go for it. I certainly am not, I am talking, I am teaching, there is no way I can do that, but you certainly can. Exhale, downward facing dog, three breaths. Hips up, head down. Inhale, exhale, one. Breathe in, breathe out, two. Inhale and exhale, three. Lift your heels high, bend your knees, shift the hips back, look forward, little steps little hops, a giant hop to the top, lengthen halfway up when you get there, exhale generously forward. Press into both feet evenly, swan dive up, look for the lift in the heart, exhale hands through heart center, right away second side, inhale, sweep the arms up, lead with the heart as you bow, come forward halfway up, prepare, bend your knees, step, step or hop, chaturanga, inhale and up dog, Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in and a big breath out. Nice job. We meet in down dog. You're going to pedal your feet, any movement you like. And then we'll look for stable legs. Shifting the weight back towards the bigger muscles, your glutes, your quads, all those calves that you just opened up. You can even try to release the heels to the ground. And what are your armpits doing? Are they flaring away from the midline? Can we make the armpits face one another? Yes. So you can broaden the upper back. Heels super high. Take the right leg up to the sky. Bend the right knee. Open the hip. Big, generous circles in one direction. Breathe. Big, generous circles in the opposite direction. Breathe. Pull the knee in. Bring yourself forward, shoulders over your wrist, knee into your chin, you're hollowing out the belly, like you're gonna catch it. Look forward, step forward between the thumbs and drop the back knee down. Swivel those arms behind you, round it up, you know this. Bring the prayer hands behind your head, drop the hands, and I'll rather I'll bend the elbows to drop the prayer hands behind you. Exhale, release the hands, shift the hips back, you're looking for half a split pose. Pick up your right toes, bow and fold. Rebend the right knee, step on your foot. Pick up the back knee and pause. You're taking the hips back now. You're looking for a pyramid shape. You're gonna pick up the right foot though, so it's a modified pyramid shape. The back heel is lifted and the front foot is lifted. You're rolling the right hip under and you're breathing into that right hamstring and calf as you bow. Rebend the right knee. Uh, or step on the right foot, re-bend the right knee. This time the right hand comes inside of the right foot. Pivot, turn. You're in a wide straddle. Take a big shift to the right and to the left. Make room for your kneecaps and side lunge and side lunge and side lunge. Inner thighs, hamstrings, glutes, everything getting a nice stretch. Bring yourself up to the top of the mat. Turn towards the top of the mat. Take those fingertops forward. Warrior three. You're pushing off the ball of the back foot. You're rising, and maybe this time you can bring your hands to your heart. You can lift a little bit off the floor. Maybe, maybe one hand, maybe both hands, maybe no hands. Exhale, step on the foot, find your chair pose, sit low. Sweep the arms up and up and up, and exhale, fold. Hips up, arms up. Lengthen the legs. Two more times. Bend the knees, take the arms forward and up, chair pose. Exhale, fold, hips up, arms up. Last time here, chair pose. Exhale, fold, step, hop, float through your vinyasa. You decide, take it. Big breath in and a big breath out. Flushing all that work out. Inhaling and exhaling. You can drop onto your knees. Extend yourself in child's pose for five breaths, or you can wait in downward facing dog. You decide. Inhale, exhale, one. So it's a child's pose, or it's a downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Breathing in, breathing out, four. Inhale and exhale, five. Nice job. When you're ready, 
from your downward facing dog. Lift the heels nice and high, lift the left leg up, bend the left knee, step left hip on top of right, big rotations in one direction. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to breathe, stabilize your hands. Big rotations in the opposite direction, yes you know. Same side, right up other side, pull the left knee in, not the same side, please. Shift forward, hike the knee into your chest, round like a cat, please point your left toes. Look forward, step forward between the thumbs. Place the back knee down, extend the back toes, swivel the arms behind you, around and up, you know this by heart. Press the palms together, drop those elbows, bend them and drop the prayer hands behind you. Lift a little bit um, more, yes, you're way warmer. Exhale, release the hands, half split pose, left leg back, pick up the left foot, fold, big breath in and a big breath out. Rebend the left knee, Step on the foot, curl the back toes under, lift the back knee, you're in a runner's lunge that's gonna turn into a modified pyramid shape. Hips up, front foot up, back heel lifts, fold, bow, generously over that left leg. Notice that that left hip is rolling out away from you. Nice job. Rebend the left knee, bring the left hand inside of your left foot, pivot, turn to the right, Watch, straddle, side lunging mm, into those outer hips, inner thighs, tabletop the spine, pull the belly in, you turn, I mean, rather you side lunge first. Side lunge and side lunge. Now we turn to the left, pick everything up, turn, and you're looking for warrior three. Take those fingertops forward, push off the ball of the back foot, and you're gonna decide, my hands are coming to my heart, Maybe they're making a T-shape. Maybe they have to stay on the ground. You decide, one side more available than the other. When you're ready, chair pose. Right foot next to the left, sit low. Chair, hinge, bow and fold. Hips up, arms up. Inhale, bend the knees, shift. Chair pose, exhale, fold. Hips up, arms up. Last time here, chair pose. When you fold, you're gonna prepare. Step, hop, float, chaturanga. Inhale and up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in and big breath out. Knees down. If you want your child's pose now, you're here for five breaths. Inhale, exhale one. Breathe in, breathe out two. Inhale, exhale three. I don't hear the burners. I have the door open. Breathe in, breathe out four usually. They create a really nice ambiance. Breathe in and breathe out five. We all meet with the knees down. Look for your child's pose all together. Maybe take the arms back and hold onto your heels or the arches of your feet. Let the forehead drop, let the shoulders round. Tiny little ball. Big breath in it. Very intimate shape to check in using kind words. Stay here for another round of breath. And on your next inhalation, we lift the ribs off the chest. And this time, we're gonna find the balls of our feet. So pick up your hips and curl the toes under. Sit back on the balls of the feet. Oh, you're sitting on the heels, really. And <clears throat> the balls of the feet are getting a big stretch. Heels of the hands on the tops of your thighs. You're pressing the thighs down to lift the chest up. You're relaxing the shoulders away from your ears so your elbow is bent and they draw into your ribs. Inhaling and exhaling. So don't dump all the weight on the heels. Not fair to your toes. So keep yourself a little afloat, yeah? So that you're still getting the benefit of the stretch without weight bearing too much. Not fair for those pinky toes. Nice job. Roll the shoulders back, interlace the fingers behind you. Lengthen the arms and pick up the chest. Find the sail in the heart. Come back through center, take the arms around and up. Pull the hands down through the heart center, drop the chin to your chest. Connect, check in. No judgment, kind words. Continue, hands down. Extend the toes, patter your toes. Move, big breath in, big breath out. Nice job. One leg at a time, right leg back. You're on the balls of those feet again. 
Pull the belly in, add the left leg. Run the knees if you like, a little bit. You can add, also add a bit of a dip to the hips, right and left. Those obliques saying hello to you, right? Just a little dip, right and left. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Big breath in. And so let's continue, yes? Lift the heels nice and high. Shift the weight to the left leg. Inhale, right leg up. Bend the right knee, open the hip generously up towards the sky. Pull the right knee into the chest, round like a cat. Look forward, step forward between the thumbs. This is where it changes. Ground through the legs, press into the feet. Your arms are free. Yes, they hover over the ground. Sweep them behind you, around and up. Find the sail in your chest as you lift your arms up. You're in a high lunge. Press the palms together and drop your prayer hands behind the base of your skull. Squeeze those elbows in, lift up and up and up. Pull yourself back through center, high lunge, twist and turn to your right. Big turn, big twist to the right. Right arm down, left arm up, big side bend, breathe into those gills, the left ribs. My teacher used to refer to them as the gills, like a fish. Come back through center, high lunge, sweep the right arm up, drop the back heel, open up, warrior two, never felt so good. Adjust the right foot, adjust the back foot, you know it by heart, and then settle into your warrior two, right side. Flip the right palm up and back, reverse your warrior two. Come back, warrior two. Two more times, flip the right palm up and back, and exhale, warrior two. We do that one last time, inhale, up and back. Nice job. Come back through center. Lengthen the right leg. Pick up your right toes. Turn. Roll the thumbs. Interlace the fingers behind you. Lift the chest up and fold over the crease of your hips. Bow forward. I have a table that I almost smacked into and I take my arms up and over my head. Tuck the chin. Yes, add a little spine. It's all good. Nice job. Release the hands. They come to the ground. Bend your knees, side lunge right and left. We're taking it a little bit deeper. We're gonna look for skandasana to the left. Lunge your way to the left. Rock on your right heel, pick up your right toes. Bring those fingertips to line with your left foot. Shift the left hip back so the left kneecap is behind your left toes. Maybe bring your hands to your heart center, maybe not. You're here for another breath. Exhale, charge yourself forward towards the front of the mat, pick up the back heel, lift the right arm up. So back heel is lifted, your inner runner's lunge. Find a sail in your heart here as you lift the right arm up and around you. Exhale, release, step back, downward facing dog. Shift yourself way forward, high plank. Bend elbows, we do that on the second side. So if you didn't get it the first one, great. We'll do it again, no worries. Baby cobra or up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Second side, take that left leg up. Don't think about it too much. Bend the left knee, open the hip generously. Yep, big breath in. Step the left foot between the hands. Organize your runner's lunge first. Pressing into the feet, the foundation, the arms are free to lift. Sweep them behind you around and up. Second side, press the palms together, bend the elbows, drop your prayer hands behind your head. Squeeze your elbow tips forward as you lift the chest up and up and up. Come back through center, your full high lunge. Take it to a twist to the left, left arm back, right arm forward. Expand the collarbones, left arm back, right arm up. Breathe into the gills on the right side, your ribs. Inhale and exhale. As you sweep the left arm down and back and up, you're in high lunge. Prepare to open up warrior two. Back heel pivots down. Open the arms, extend, adjust, feet. Knee the knee, you know your beautiful warrior two. It's on the left side now. Gaze is full. Take the left arm up and back. Reverse your warrior two. And take it back through your warrior two. Two more times, inhale, up and back. And exhale, come through center. Last time, up and back. Come back through center. Lengthen the left leg, pick up your toes, pivot. Roll the thumbs, interlace the fingers. Make sure it's the opposite thumb on top. You're in a bit of a wide straddle. Lengthen the elbows, pick up the chest. Find the sail in the heart. Come forward, lengthen heart center, forward up. 
and go all the way down. Tuck the chin, big breath in, relax the head. Release the hands, they come to the ground. Micro bend the knees, a little side lunge, right and left. We're gonna find our skandasana to the right. That means you're gonna shift all the way to the right. The right hip is low, the right knee is bent, the right kneecap is behind your right toe. So you're weight bearing on the right heel. You're gonna rock on the left heel so the left toes lift. We did these stretches earlier, remember that? Yeah, where the foot was nice and flexed. As you come over, fingertops frame the right foot. You inhale to lift the hands to the heart center. Skandasana on the right. Sit deep into that right hip. When you're ready, we're gonna charge to the front of the room. You can drop your hands. Bend your left knee. Your toes already pointing in that direction. Pick up the back heel, yes. Take the left arm up to the sky at a twist. Roll the ribs open, left arm up. Find the sail in the heart here. Exhale, left hand down, step back, downward facing dog. Shift yourself way forward, high plank. Bend the elbows or knees, chest and chin, knee to side, chaturanga. Inhale a big cobra or an up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's find a little rest in pigeon. Lift the right leg up, bend the right knee, open the hip. We're taking that right knee to your right wrist. And then assemble yourself there. Hopefully this will bring you a little bit of rest. If you want to do it seated or you want to do it on your back, by all means, I'm going to stop to check in with you. I promise <clears throat> you need a prop for the right hip. Take it, assemble yourself in your manner for your pigeon for five runs. I'm gonna go ahead and unmute you just to say hello. Real quick hello, I don't wanna to disrupt too much. We've got a flow going and sometimes when I stop to say hello, it just throws everything out of whack. Hello, yogis. I, okay, good, good. Everybody okay? Most of you okay hanging in there? Okay, good. Is it good? Are you happy? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good, okay. Good. Happy good. people, we like happy yogis. We Okay, mute all, that's it. That's all I'm gonna say. Nice job. Okay, so now let's find the sail in our pigeon. So I'm just gonna mirror, uh, mirror you for this just one moment. Even though it's my left leg, I'm gonna say it's my right leg. <clears throat> so you're gonna come and lift the chest up. You're gonna find yourself on your right forearm and you're gonna begin to open towards the left. You're gonna bring your left hand to your heart center and open. Yeah, so you're picking up the left hip flex. Big breath in, and then take the right arm up, uh, left arm up to the sky. And then look for that big sail in your heart. Big breath in and out. And then we're gonna lift. So press off the right forearm and lift. Sit on your left glute. So turn to your left. That heel is gonna come inside of that arch. You did this earlier, remember that? Flex your left foot, oh, adjust the butt. Come forward over the heel. Ground your hips. Big breath in and a big breath out. It may not feel different. It may be so subtle that you can't even judge it. But you've made change. You definitely have done all this work. Inhale, rise. Nice job. We're reaching for the ankle or we're reaching for the foot. This is the same work you did earlier. Sweep the right arm up to the sky. Big side bend. Does it feel different? Can you tell? Are you present? Are you here? Right? That's the only way you're going to tell. And then as we inhale, sweep up, soft, left hand on, uh, right hand on the ground, left arm up and over. I'm trying to mirror you. Beautiful. Come back through center. This time, your left hand goes behind you onto the ground. Step on the left palm. Lift the right arm up. Press the ground away and scoop the hips off the ground. Look for an upper back bend. Find the sail in your chest. Drop your head. Exhale, release. Hips down. You're gonna turn. You're gonna pass through that pigeon shape. Turn, reorganize yourself. Inhale, hands underneath the shoulders. Curl the back toes under. You're crisscrossing your legs. Right leg in front of the left. Downward facing dog. Big breath in and a big breath out. I just uncrossed my legs. So you're in a crisscross downward facing dog. You're reaching the heels down to the ground. Inhale and exhale. 
very mindfully. You're gonna bend the knees and they're gonna come to the ground. Yep, open the heels apart. Roll over your knees and sit in between your ankles. Go Mukasana legs, you've done the work. Adjust the hips, impossible, you can't do it. Left leg is long, right knee can stay bent. Take the arms up to the sky. You're gonna bend the left elbow. Catch it in your right hand. Left palm between the shoulder blades as best as you can. Guide it there, use it, shimmy the palm down. Pick up the head, lean back onto the, so your forearm receives you. <clears throat> right arm out, and left, arm, left thumb rolls under. As you bend the elbow, this shoulder's gonna come forward. That's fine until you grab something and then we take it up and back. Yep. And then maybe some of you are coming forward. Maybe you're not coming forward. That's fine. You don't have to come forward. But make it about the heart center. Leave it the heart. My right side is super tight. I can't hold onto my fingertops on my right side. I have to hold onto my shirt. The inhale, rise. Release. Waggle those arms. Let them go. Nice job. And you're gonna have to rebend your knees because we're coming out of this just the way we came into it. So very mindfully use a little bit of, of your core to get you over. Nice job. Now we've got this bind here. What do we do? Curl the toes under, lift the hips up, your back and then crisscross downward facing dog. Squeeze your inner thighs together, drop your heels, reach far back, more back. And this time walk the hands back a little bit. Walk the hands back a little bit. Land on your heels. Your feet are on the ground. Now, we're gonna shift the weight over to the left hand and you're reaching your right hand towards your right ankle. Yeehaw, look underneath the left arm. Yeah, so that right leg is in front of you and your right hand's reaching for your ankle, your heel. You're looking underneath the left arm. Step on your heels, big breath in and out. Nice job, don't think about it too much. Come forward all the way forward, find your high plank. Yeehaw. Pull the right knee in, take it behind you, flip your plank. So you're stepping right foot down, left leg long, lift up. So it's a bit of a wild thing, if you will. Big breath in. Exhale, release. Come back out of it. You're gonna crisscross, pull the left knee in. Not so graceful, downward facing dog. Big breath in and out. And this, I believe, all started from pigeon shape. Is that correct? We meet in pigeon. Lift the left leg up, left knee to the left wrist. Hello, maybe it'll be a little smoother on the second side. Organize yourself. I like to shimmy. What's the right leg doing? It's behind your hip. Maybe you need a prop. Maybe you have to do it seated. Maybe you have to do it on your back. Honor what you need and descend with your breath. As you exhale, you fold. Inhale to create the length. Exhale to fold. Breathing in and breathing out. Nice job. Second side. When you're ready, we're going to lift onto the left forearm. So draw yourself back and we're looking to open ourselves. So we're looking for the sail in our pigeon. Left forearm down, right hand to the heart center open. You're opening up the right side. You're leaning up and back. Take the right arm up to the sky. Open up a little bit more. Pressing into the left forearm, you're gonna come up to sit. You're facing towards the right side. Sit on your right sit bone. Bring the left heel in, organize yourself, move the flesh back. You're coming over the left heel. Forearms down, maybe you'll impress yourself and you can go a little bit deeper. Flex your right foot a lot and thread the heart center forward. Look forward, please. Don't drop the head, lead with the heart. Inhaling and exhaling. Your next inhalation is gonna take you up and up and up, and you're gonna revisit that same stretch. You're gonna either grab your ankle or your foot. The left arm's gonna sweep up and over. Breathe into the side body, inhaling and exhaling. As you rise, the left hand comes down and the right arm sweeps over to the uh, left. Soft ribs. Inhale, come back through center. Your right hand's gonna go down and the left arm's gonna go up. You're gonna be pressing the floor away and the ceiling away to make room for your big sail. You're gonna lift the hips and lift the heart. 
upper back bend, big breath in, and a big breath out. Release the hips, they come to the ground. You're gonna look towards the top of your mat. Reassemble your pigeon shape. So adjust, curl everything under, hands underneath the shoulders, pull the left knee in, crisscross, left leg in front of the right. Organize your legs. Center yourself when you look down, you're in downward facing dog with your legs crisscrossed. Left leg is on top. Squeeze your inner thighs. Big breath in and a big breath out. You're trying to release the heels any amount possible. You're looking towards the space between your crisscross feet. Come forward, bend your knees, land on your kneecaps. Left knee in front of right. Open the heels apart. You're rolling over those kneecaps into the space between your heels. Align yourself, fix yourself. If you need to lengthen the bottom leg, like do it. Be kind to yourself. Maybe those heels are forward in line with your knees, creating a straight line. Sometimes they're not all the way back. That's fine. That may be yoga mukasana. Take the arms forward, right elbow bends. Catch it in your left hand. Right palm between the shoulder blades. Press it flat on your shoulder blades and then lift so that you're lifting your own sail, if you will. Yeah, lift up and back. Left arm out to the side. Maybe this side is more available to you. It is for me. My right side is tough. Bend the left elbow. See if you can collect your finger tops. Yes. Remember, we used a strap earlier. You may even want to use your strap to collect your, your, um, your hands, if you will, or your shirt. And then lift up and back and then come forward over the top of those knees. Take the chest forward, open the throat, bring the chin over the kneecaps, maybe this side more available, less available. Big stretch of the IT bands here in Gomukhasana pose. And when you're ready, inhale to rise. As you release, wiggle the arms, let them out. And then you're gonna use core and momentum. You're gonna pick up the hips, come forward, yep. Curl the toes under, lift the hips up and back. You're still in that crisscross downward facing dog, that crazy thing, yes. You're gonna walk the hands back, drop the heels just a little bit, and now you're gonna take the left hand, right? So the heels are down. You're gonna take the left hand across. You're catching your left ankle and you're trying to look underneath the right arm. So it's that same kind of crisscross you did earlier, except that it's not the same. You release, you shift forward, look for your high plank. Nice job, high plank. You're still in the crisscross legs. Pull the left knee into your chest. Take the left leg back. Drop the left foot behind you. Unflip. This is like wild thing. Left knee is bent, left foot. Open up the front body. You're looking for a big sail. As you come back through center, you're gonna to try to unravel yourself back into your downward facing dog, your regular down dog. Shift yourself forward, high plank. Where's Michelle? Chaturanga, maybe cobra or up dog. Exhale, child's pose. Hips back, arms back, interlace the fingers, hold on to your heels, allow yourself to rest. Big breath in and a big breath out. Release, release, release. Shoulders round, you tuck in a very intimate shape and you're breathing all around the back body. Inhaling and exhaling. Nice job. Re-extend your arms. We meet in downward facing Downward facing dog. So, similar to the work that we did earlier, lift high onto the balls of the feet, take the right leg up. That is just your break, that whole pigeon sequence there, by the way. Right leg up to the sky. Pull the right knee in round like a cat. Yup. Step the right foot between the thumbs. You know this by heart. We're gonna inhale to high lunge. Sweep the arms behind you, rounding up. The palms gather, the elbows bend. Prayer hands behind the base of your skull. Lift up and up and up. Come back through center, open the arms to a T, twist to the right, 
right arm back, left arm up, big side bend, breathing into the left gills. Bring yourself back through high lunge, pause, add on, warrior three, shift yourself forward, push off the ball of the left foot, warrior three feels like cake after you've done all that crisscrossing stuff, reach forward, land way back with the left foot, open up warrior two, left heel down, right knee bends, adjust the feet, heel to that foot forward, beautiful, right palm up and back, peaceful warrior two, this time lengthen the right leg, stick straight and long, reach back, reverse your triangle, pick up the chest, full triangle, right arm forward and down, left arm up to the sky, roll the right hip under, legs are super straight, they're super charged, Inhale, rise. Rebend the right knee. You're still on your right side. Take the right arm forward and down. You're going to push off the ball of the back foot, passing through your half moon pose. Lift the left leg. It's in line with your left hip. Left arm is up to the sky. Some of you like chapasana. Some of you like to bend your left knee, collect the ankle. That's fine. Some of you like to lift the bottom hand off the ground and bring prayer hands to your heart. You decide. Big breath in and out. Release yourself gradually through your warrior two. Nice. Pause. Cartwheel down. Pick up the back heel. Right arm up to the sky. A big twist. Find the sail in your heart. Exhale, release. Step back. Three point dog. Right leg back and up. Bend the right knee over your hip. Flip your dog. You know this by heart now. Yes, hips up. Release the right hand, fall in triangle, right knee into your chest, cross it underneath the left arm, pivot the back heel down, drop it, right leg is straight, left arm rises, fall in triangle, exhale, come back, downward facing dog. Vinyasa or no vinyasa. We do this from the top and then you get to release and relax. We breathe. We meet in down dog. Second side is your last side. Lift the left leg up. Bend the left knee. Open your hip. You know this. Pull the left knee. And we added warrior three. And a couple of other things. When you're ready, first, your high lunge. Swivel the arms behind you around. Look for the sail in your heart. Press the palms together. Bend the elbows. Drop your prayer hands behind your head. You know this. You can go deeper with the back bend. Come up through center. Twist. Turn. You're looking for a wide, wide collarbones. Left arm back, right arm up. You're looking to breathe into the gills. Inhale, high lunge. Take it forward first. Warrior three, before we come into our warrior two, we're gonna stop through warrior three. Flex the right foot, points down, those toes point down, yes. Arms forward, maybe yes, maybe no. Thank goodness I have a chair. Exhale, warrior two. Right away, open up, warrior two. Left palm up and back, peaceful, warrior two. Add a smile, baby, add a smile. Lengthen the left leg long, it's just yoga. Reverse your triangle. And I think we added just about every single pose ever created in yoga. Take the left arm forward and down. Lift the right arm up to the sky, triangle shape. Spread those collarbones, legs already in charge for you. Inhale, rise. Bend your left knee. You're passing through your half moon pose. Take it there. Not sure we're going to see the moon tonight. Lift up and up and up. It's raining again. Maybe you're coming through Chapasana. You're holding on to the ankle. Maybe you're bringing the left hand to the heart center. Maybe not. You don't have to lift it. Maybe it just picks up an inch or so. And then when you're ready, you're revisiting Warrior Two. Cartwheel the right arm up and back. Oh, Warrior Two. Release. Cartwheel hands down. Pick up the back heel, turn to the left. Yes, add that big twist. Open the sail of the chest. Left hand down, three point dog. Left leg back and up. Yes, bend the left knee, flip your dog. Left foot behind you, hips up, head down. Big breath in. Unflip your dog, fall in triangle. Left hand down, left knee in. Extend it underneath the right arm. Back heel down, right arm up fall and triangle. You can use your core and pick up the bottom leg and you can also hold on to your left foot if you like. You don't have to do that, but that's only if you want. Exhale, downward facing dog, your vinyasa. 
Inhale up, big cobra, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Drop the knees, sit back, child's pose. Take the arms back and back and back and let the forehead come to the ground. Big breath in and a big breath out. Float the ribs off your thighs. Lift yourself up, fingertops land behind your feet. Scoop the heels off, uh, hips off the heels and burn the front of your heart. Big breath in and out. Release the hips, sweep the legs off to the side. Find yourself in your stack pose, dandasana, legs forward. If you think you need a blanket to lift up the butt, please do so, move the flesh back. And flex your feet, yeah? We're gonna try to come over over and fold over straight legs in Paschimottanasana. If you have that strap, you may wanna use it <clears throat> to bring yourself forward, right? Mm, really, you can't cheat that way. If not, you can soften your knees and just pour over your bent knees. Paschimottanasana, forward fold. You deserve this. Breathing in and breathing out. Lift the chest up, organize yourself on your back. Bend your knees, get the hips on the ground. Pull your knees in, give yourself a big hug. Rock and rock and rock. Take the legs up to the sky. Flex and point your toes. You may want to reach for that strap and place the strap over both uh, um, balls of the feet, just like you did a moment ago, if you did it on Paschimottanasana. Again, you're trying to make the legs straight, and notice you did a lot of work. They may be over your hips, ankles over the hips. You don't want the legs forward with the butt up. You want the tailbone down and anchored, and the legs in alignment with the hips. That's not happening, then maybe your legs are here. That's fine, right? You want to just make them long. Flex the feet, pull the heels forward. Walk the hands up, even if your legs are here. Breathe in and breathe out. You're holding them up. You're cradling your legs up. You're giving them a little bit of support to create the length, yes. So you're aiding yourself. Right? We're born with all these uh, tools, yeah? And in yoga, we get to harness our tools to self-regulate. Be kind to yourself. And very mindfully, you can bend your knees, release out of all of that. And bring your knees into your chest. You did a lot of work. You deserve a nice break. Step on your feet. Open the feet the width of your mat. Now drop the knees to one side. Make cactus arms. Look away from your knees. Allow yourself to windshield. Wipe those legs to the other side. Very mindfully, right and left, just a little bit. If that feels comfortable, or just hold it, you decide. And then you're gonna come through center, we're gonna meet in a recline butterfly shape. Knees wide, pick up the head. Place the back of the head in your palms and allow yourself to release. Knees wide, elbows wide. Coat yourself in your favorite color and let your butterfly fly. Now. If you don't want to do this and you want to go right into corpse pose, by all means, if there's something that you need before corpse pose that I'm not calling out, like a shoulder stand, a head stand, you know that you can always do that. It is your practice. You're in the sanctuary of your own, and you're going to do what the body says. I'm going to take it into a corpse pose right now, and I'm going to hold space for you. You can get there when you're ready. And then make yourself comfortable, please. Corpse pose when you are ready. Corpse pose when you are ready. And then fix your corpse pose just a little bit, yes? Notice if there's any bunch, any skin bunching underneath your butt, you're gonna move the flesh forward. Notice if there's any skin bunching underneath your shoulder blades, you're gonna shimmy your shoulder blades out. You're gonna let the feet splay open, right? That's only if you're doing corpse pose. You're doing another shape, honor it. Turn the palms up, you're gonna draw the shoulder blades in. They're gonna lay nice and flat, 
so that you can pull in the heart center and then you're going to rock your head to the right and to the left. Yeah. You're turning your chin to the right and you're turning your chin to the left. And then trust the words, trust the words. You don't have to look, just listen to the words. A gentle no shake. That's what you're doing with the head. Right and left. Letting go. It's still not serving you. You're letting it go here. Don't hold on to it. Let it go. Bring your head back to stillness and tip the chin towards your chest just a little bit. You're still in corpse pose. Relax the tongue from the upper palate. Relax the top jaw from the bottom jaw. Create a little space. A little space between the lips as well. Swallow. Let the skin on your face go soft as you curl the corners of your lips up. Creating the expression you want the whole world to see. Travel to the space between your eyebrows and soothe that space open. Relax the space. And through that space lies nirvana. Your inner teacher, your wisdom, it's all there, always. So use the tools of yoga to open up and connect. And that's when the yoga begins, when you get to transcend the mind. So give yourself here a few moments to let yourself feel free. No boundaries, no walls, no masks. Free. Free to be your true, radiant, loving, and compassionate self. Your true being. Radiant. Begin to deepen the breath. Begin to soar back in all your magnificence. In all your radiant, loving, compassionate self, bring it back. We need you back here, back on your path and back on your journey. Deepen the breath, begin to wiggle the fingertips and the toes, reawakening. Step on your feet one at a time. Breathe into your sacrum. Lift the right arm by your right ear, roll to your right side. You're creating a fetal shape. Pause in your fetal shape. Bring that left hand with you, squeeze. Knees in towards your chin, the pose of rebirth and restart where love and compassion begin within. Press the left hand into the ground, come up to sit, roll the shoulders back, poised and ready. Turn the palms up. Let those palms fill with all of your many blessings. Seal in your practice, bring your full palms to your heart center, drop the chin to the chest. Mind to heart. Heart to mind, connect. Inhale, lift the chin up. Bring the fingertips to touch lightly at the heart center, symbolizing the expanse that you created. May stay with you the rest of your evening. Namaste, sweet yoginis and yogis. It was an honor to be here for you and cover for Michelle. Have a beautiful night. Thank you. Thank you for having me on mute. Good night, everybody. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good Bye. to see you. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Take it easy. Enjoy your evening. Yeah. Bye, Julie. Bye, Mindy. Bye, Bye Vincent. Bye. Bye, Michelle. Bye, Susan. Bye, Jane. Bye, Bye Mindy. Bye. 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 See you later, guys.